Hello. We're doing a tutorial to make speech bubbles and thought bubbles in GIMP. Okay. The first thing we need to do is make this transparent instead of white. So we go to Layer, Transparency, Add Alpha Channel. We then go to the Select by Color tool, click on the white, and go Edit Clear. We can then go Select None. Okay. So we've got the transparent background. Now we can make a speech bubble. Okay, so we're going to go to the ellipse select tool and we have an ellipse. Okay, that's not very exciting and doesn't really look like a speech bubble yet. We have to go to the free select tool, make sure it's on this second one which says add to the current selection. Then we go here and we make a triangle. You can see it is added now and we now have a speech bubble looking shape. Okay, so then what we do is we fill it. We go edit, fill with background or foreground colour depending on how yours is set up. Select none and we have a speech bubble. But what if we want to do a speech bubble with an outline? Then we would go with the ellipse tool again and the free select tool, make sure it's on the second mode which is add to the current selection and do another one. You can also do these rounded too. Okay. Now you might think the best way to do this would be to go edit stroke selection, but there is actually a better way. We will instead go select two path, select none, and then edit stroke path. And we will press stroke. Okay. The reason we do this is that if you stroke the path as opposed to stroking the selection, you get neat, a neater outline. I would, I believe it is definitely worth doing from my experience and I would do it any time you're going to use any of the select tools in order to make outlines. Okay, so you might be wondering how we fill it though. Okay, so we go, you could do the bucket, but I find there's personally difficulties with this. I find sometimes it doesn't fill completely and there's little transparent bits between the outline and the colour. And that's a real pain to fix later. So I would go edit undo bucket fill. You can still go select from path and you have your selection again. So you can just go edit fill with foreground colour or background and go select none and you have it filled. The other thing is when we first do the outline and we choose we go select to path and then select none. The reason you have to do select none is if you stroke path but you still got a selection it will only stroke the path within the selection so it won't be as nice and clear and rounded as you would like. Okay, we'll switch these back so they don't become a pain later. We'll go edit, clear, okay and a thought bubble. A thought bubble is really easy because it's just circles with circles underneath. You just make a or ellipses with ellipses underneath. Make an ellipse, go edit, fill with background or foreground colour, and then select none. Then you do another one underneath. Edit, fill with background colour, select none. Edit, fill with background colour, select none. Okay, you can do this with outlines too, just make the ellipse go select two path select none remember we do the none because otherwise it will do the stroking the path within the selection and that doesn't look as good so go edit stroke path choose the width you want don't think we want 30 might go about six stroke and then select from path edit fill with background or foreground colour depending on how yours is set up then select none then do the same thing another circle select two path select none edit stroke path stroke it select from path edit fill and so on for how many however many bubbles you want underneath your bubbles essentially that's how you make a speech bubble and a thought bubble in GIMP or it's how I make it anyway you might have a different way and if you want to 
share that in the comments. You're more than welcome, because it only helps everyone anyway. Um, and yeah, I hope you learned something, and thank you for watching my tutorial. It's my first one I've ever made. And yes, thank you for watching my video.